Notebooks, photo books, calendars, yearbooks, comic books, and magazines. Oh my. If you're looking for self-publishing a book for free and you're thinking to yourself, I need something kind of cut out for me, something kind of ready-made so I can just fill in the work and be done with it. Well, there's actually some templates available that you can do that for all the things I mentioned before. We're gonna talk about that in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up? It's Dale here with Self Publishing with Dale. And uh, full disclosure, today's video is officially sponsored by Lulu. And uh, I'm gonna give you some great resources when it comes to Lulu. Uh, just know ahead of time that I'm not just being a shill for their products. I actually went into each of these templates played around with them and saw the assets and I was pretty blown away for what you actually can get for free. So if you're strapped for cash or you're even a spendthrift like my old buddy Keith Wheeler books, then uh, chances are very likely you're gonna appreciate the fact that you can get some templates that can kind of get you going when you're wanting to self-publish your book for free. And uh, I'll just let you know some of the options that they have why do I prefer templates? Well, it's just as simple as this. It's kind of like getting the skeletal work and you get to put in all the organs and vital muscles and tissue and such like that to make this a working thing. Uh, I would rather try to do it myself if I could and learn the process and then publish it and tweak it as I go along rather than spending countless dollars on it. And if you feel that way too, then chances are very likely you're gonna enjoy some of these templates that I'm gonna discuss today. So uh, for the record, Lulu does print on demand books and they offer so many different types. And as I kind of mentioned before, they do notebooks, they do photo books, calendars, yearbooks, comic books, and magazines. And I'm gonna talk about each one of those and what they do offer. So that way I'm not repeating myself, repeating myself. So uh, what are the templates and what do they include? So anyway, you get a zip file for each one of these things and they are PC and Mac compatible. I get the sense that someone at Lulu was uh, putting this all together through Mac because I see the .ds store file in each one of these things and Mac users will know exactly what I'm talking about. They give you Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, PDF, PNG file formats, among other types of files. There was actually some files, I didn't even know what it was. Uh, the ones that I noticed, and I was like, oh wow, I know that, it was uh, Microsoft Doc. So if you can do Doc or DocX, then chances are very likely they've got your solution. Let's start out with the notebooks. Uh, they actually have a 100 page notebook, so you don't need to worry about copying and pasting this template over and over. They have it all set out for you. They do blank, lined, graph paper or dot grid interiors and they come in paperback or coil bound cover files and they say in about three sizes when, but when i went into the zip file i found about five trim sizes all together they have a variety of sizes so it's kind of nice that if you're wanting to put together say a no content book of some sort and you're like ah, i don't feel like going through and trying to format these things Lulu's got your back and here's kind of the cool thing is where there's been some platforms that aren't allowing distribution for some no content books Lulu's like hey come on over here we got you set in fact here's some templates for you to go ahead and utilize now there's the photo book templates and they come in paperback and hardcover in about six trim sizes again they said just about a few trim sizes but when I went into the actual file I discovered oh my gosh there's actually even more than what they explain to. And, and by the way, each one of these zip files, when you do download it and you unpack it, you will discover they actually have a full tutorial that you can download and go through and read and just take it step by step. Now, just a, a fair warning, I'll let you know some of what I think about some of these templates here in just a second towards the end. Then there's the calendars. Uh, you will get image template made from online calendar creation tools. So uh, here's kind of the cool thing. They have an online calendar creation tool. You, you don't need to have the templates if you don't want to. You can just simply go in and you just fill in the specific areas when they need some images or they need to add holidays, things like that. Uh, it's really, it's very intuitive. So needing the template here is not 100% necessary, but if for some reason you just want to kind of 
shorten the amount of time that you're going to be spending online, then chances are likely these templates are going to be very helpful. And they also provide an Adobe InDesign file that will give you a 12 month and 18 month template. So if you're familiar with InDesign and you use that, then chances are very likely this is for you. Then there's the yearbook templates. They actually have saddle stitch, paperback, and hardcover files in the US letter trim size. Now, if you don't know what US letter trim size is, it's eight and a half by 11. So uh, pretty simple. And uh, something I just kind of just glossed over was saddle stitch. Some of you may not be familiar with saddle stitches, but it essentially is like staple binding. So it's not like our normal type of binding in books. So for instance, we've got perfect binding like we have here, but with saddle stitch, you're dealing with more of a fold and a staple. And uh, so you think booklets. So it's typically good for those type of things. But with the yearbook templates, you actually have a master page portrait grid and layout options that are included with all of the downloads. Next up is the comic book templates. Now, I wish I could tell you that I know a lot about comic books and how to put those things together, but I'm not gonna even try to fake it here at this point. They do offer paperback and saddle stitch files and comic book trim sizes. So um, again, you, you're looking at the saddle stitch, which I think is, definitely appropriate for comic books, but you're gonna discover that when you do print comic books through Lulu, it's not your typical uh, paper stock. It's actually a little bit thicker and a little bit higher quality. So you're gonna probably look more like a graphic novel than what you'd say see in a traditional comic book. And here's the cool thing is they actually have a two-sided cover spread files for printing on inside the front and back cover. So rather than having a blank inside when somebody opens it up, it's like a traditional comic book that it's printed on either side of the cover. And lastly is the magazine template. That's a paperback and saddle stitch files and US letter and A4 trim sizes. They have a two-sided cover spread files for printing on the inside and the back covers, uh, the front covers. So kind of like what we did with the comic books, we're able to print on the inside as well. So it kind of gives a more thorough experience rather than just like a traditional book to where you open up the inside cover and there's a blank page. So it gives a more immersive experience and especially when it comes to magazine and comics, that's gonna definitely be something that's essential to the experience. So are the templates any good? So let me give you my thoughts here. There's a few things that you gotta consider when you're getting these templates. Uh, do you have the time to learn? Okay, so if you're not experienced in this, you're gonna to need to etch out a little bit of time that you're gonna download the files, unpack them, and go through the entire uh, PDF that they show uh, how to do the entire process. You, you gotta be prepared too for a little bit of trial and error. Don't expect to actually just uh, plug and play and just, just be able to kind of do this with no issue. It's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some patience. The next thing is you have to consider is, uh, do you have the software? Do you have Adobe InDesign or Photoshop? Because remember, that costs every month in order to actually be subscribed to some of the Adobe suite products. Uh, or you can even look into some of the free alternatives that are out there. I know for me, I like GIMP whenever I'm using uh, something that is going to be like a Photoshop alternative. And uh, you know, keep in mind, they actually have some word specific files. So if you're using Microsoft Word or any of the open source software out there that's kind of the alternative to Microsoft Word, then chances are very likely you'll be able to use some of these files. Now, as far as distribution goes, this is the other thing you got to consider. Uh, Lulu does have distribution to other areas through what they call their extended distribution and they do reach platforms like Amazon, but you have to keep in mind that not all types of print on demand go beyond the Lulu platform. So for instance, if you're wanting to do a coil bound notebook, it's not gonna reach the Amazon platform. A uh, reason being is Amazon only fulfills certain types of print designs and coil bounds not one of them so i think it's you're going to be up to you to kind of do your due diligence but the brilliance of this is they're giving you these templates you can still be able to distribute through lulu it's just a case of driving the traffic over to lulu's site where you're going to have your product page and in a future video i'm going to kind of talk about how you can take lulu express and actually integrate it with your website and there's also something that's called uh, api by lulu and they actually will do the same thing as lulu express it goes and it integrates with your website to where you can actually fulfill some of these print on demand options and the beautiful part is you get to collect all of the earnings that way. They only take out print fees 
and fulfillment fees. And beyond that, you know, you get 100% of the royalties on that. My biggest issue now when it comes to this, and you'd be surprised when you're like, oh, but you said that this was sponsored by Lulu, but they've allowed me the freedom to kind of say what I what's on my mind. I think if you're getting these templates, the very first thing you're gonna feel is a little bit overwhelmed because they give you a lot of stuff. But to me, I think that means that they've got your best interests at heart. They wanna make sure that you're equipped with as much stuff as possible, so that way you're set for success. So as I mentioned, you're gonna to need to etch out some time to sit down and actually study some of these things and start to tweak some of the files and play around with it. If you're new to things like InDesign or Photoshop, then your learning curve is gonna be so much more steep if you didn't, if you did know it. So are the templates any good? Absolutely. If you're self-publishing a book for free and getting free templates and a ton of resources to get you equipped and going, then you can't beat that. I mean, free is one of my favorite words and hopefully if it's yours, you go ahead and give these a shot. You could do that by visiting the link inside the description down below. Hey, and uh, while we're kind of talking about Lulu, believe it or not, actually I had Chelsea Bennett, the face of Lulu University here on YouTube. I had her on the channel and we actually had a full interview. You're gonna go check it out on over here at this very next video here. We had a great chat. I'll be having her back again here very soon. See you in the next video.